Welcome to the season three finale of Show Em The Door, the only podcast that we never thought it would make it this far. <laughs> I never thought it would make one episode, I'll be real. I thought we'd make like a few. Well, this was like a big goal of mine is to make a podcast. Yeah, that's it's on his bucket list. It, yeah, I crossed it off as beautiful. I it, was, it was a good time. I single-handedly did that for him. I was like, here, well, I'm my child. <laughs> Cross off your bucket list. I will. <laughs> I will email Brent Sizzlerook. <laughs> what? That's that was the guy's oh, name before Brent, Arlon Brent Salazar. Sizz- That's yeah. funny. Um, for all those at home who want the lore behind shown the door, the um, door lore, the door lore, the door. Um. <laughs> so, I come out of the bathroom one day, and I'm like, Willem, we gotta make a podcast. I, have we ever talked about this on air before? I, I mean, like, it makes sense that we did, but I don't... I don't think we have. Remember. But so I come out of the bathroom, Willem, we gotta make a sports podcast, it's gonna be called Show Him the Door. And I was like, like, door, like, apostrophe, D-O-R-E, and he was like, that's stupid, but great. Um, and there, and so, I was at, like, the end of our freshman year. Um, and so, the, throughout that summer, I, de- I, I emailed the people at the beautiful Curb Center... And it was a guy um, on the, if you go like through the Curb Center's website, it's like, do you want the podcast room? And I'm like, well, we want video because we want, I had been watching a lot of Bustin' with the Boys podcasts. And so I'm like, I definitely want the video portion. Um, and so I was like, oh, let's go to the video room. Who runs that? It was a guy named Brent Salazar Slizlerook. I don't know if I'm, I might be butchering that last name, but I, ema- on, I, think. I emailed him and he was like, yeah, I don't run this anymore. Here's Ardalon. And so then we met Ardalon and we have bonded. A, we have bonded. We have made a huge friendship. Um, and now we've been here for three seasons. Three. Three whole semesters. This has been a great season of Show em the Door. Legitimately. We've had so many more guests. Have we, I think we've probably so had... So many. We've probably had more guest episodes than ones without. Yeah, I bet so. And, like, that's the first time we've ever done that regarding um, that, like, percentage. And we've still got so many more people to schedule for next Yeah, season, like, a lot of, um, like, football players especially, a lot of them couldn't come because it was football season. But next semester when they're, uh, like, you know, they have, like, lifts and stuff like that and spring ball a little bit. But they don't, their schedules aren't nearly as, sh- like, you know, strict. We hope to get a lot more of them on. Um, it's a really, you know, it's been a great – I've had a really good time this season. We've, um, you know, hit – like our first video that's had like over 150 views. I think one of them is nearing 200. Mm-hmm. 200. Um, our I've subs- watched it 150 times. True, Willem's actually <laughs> all of the views. Um, I you know we partnered with Barstool at the start of this. We had him on again. Mm-hmm. Uh, our subscriber count has ri- risen from like 30 to like 55 over this season. <laughs> Really? Okay. He has he has he who has risen. No. Uh, <laughs> Riz? Like oh, the, it's I don't know why in my mind I'm like risen. risen is not a word. <laughs> I'm like, it is in fact a word. Yeah. Riz. So overall it's been a really Riz. productive, great season uh for showing the door. Um we've met some really great people. We've got uh you know, what Willem, what's your favorite moment from this season? That's an excellent question, Christopher. Um <laughs> <laughs> Now back to Chan, Dave with the weather. Like, what do you mean? Why, why back you to saying? you in the studio. Um, <laughs> Chris, I'm out here uh, interviewing people. Willem's like, hey, he has the helmet on. He's like, all right, Chris. <laughs> um, I'm like, my favorite portion was all of the episodes I did without you. The ones that you don't know about. Oh, nice. My second podcast. <laughs> it's Show Lord 2. <laughs> <laughs> Show them the door too, only Willem. No, we show them the door spelled door. door. Oh, oh, it's actually, um, um, it's an interior design podcast. It is. They're like, where should we put a door? And I'm like, I'm like right there. Well, no, a different idea. It's a, it's a, it's a warehouse of doors. <laughs> Very similar to Monsters, Inc. And you're like, oh, would you like this one? <laughs> it's um, a showroom. Yeah, it's well, exactly. What's your favorite part? You say yours first. I'm thinking. My favorite part? That's a great question, Willem. <laughs> um... <laughs> I felt I felt like the Sasha episode was really really this good. The the Shasha episode, um, that was bad. I tried to add I tried to add more Sasha into it. It didn't work. I don't know. I really liked the Sasha episode. That was so much fun. That was I a, think that was the most fun episode. It was a really good one. She was just so personable. Shout out Sasha Washington. Um, we hope to get more women's basketball players on the pod. Yeah, true. Um, 
they had re- we'd reach out to some of them in the summer, and obviously they've been really busy. You know, but, playing basketball. Yeah, you know, actually doing the things that... As women. <laughs> Women's basketball. As They're busy women. doing two things, being women and playing basketball. Um, that was a really great episode. Um, especially when we were talking about food. I feel like we talked a lot about food. We did that. so much about not basketball. We talked about little Baby. Oh, we Shorter, did. Travis Scott oh, running. Oh, Travis Scott running. That was a great episode, thinking about it. I gotta rewatch that stuff, man. Yeah, the uh, Piano Girl, Ardalon. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was just a jam-packed episode. It was so much. If you haven't seen it, what, what, like, stop right now. This don't watch this anymore. Click off the episode. <laughs> watch the um, Sasha one if you have it. Yeah, I'll try to put a card in, but I probably won't. I'll probably forget about it. Right here. Um, He's going to do it, it right it, there. it won't be there. If it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be like here. Um, Willem's going to lick the card. <laughs> um, it's a lot of water. So, uh, what, so the guests that we've had on in order, we had David. David. Shout out David. He actually came on a second time. Um, Sasha. Drew. Was he our third? I can't imagine. Who else did we have? We had Julian. Julian again. Uh, we had David again, of course. So that's five episodes. Who else did we have? We had Parker. Oh, Parker. Yeah, Park. Shout out, Park. Um, do we only have six guest episodes? I want to say we have more, but I don't know. I don't remember. We but we um, Parker was a good one. We should probably get more Parker was a great episode, actually. Parker I enjoyed Parker a lot. Um, I don't know. Oh, I, we had what's his name? Wesley last week. Oh yeah, and Wesley, of course. <laughs> you haven't seen the episode? The, the Wesley. Episode. The episode was crazy. The episode was nuts. Wesley's such a good guy. Like, He's I, dope, dude. Like just like behind the scenes, we had some really bad technical difficulties that caused it. So like we were just talking to Wesley for like an hour before like recording. Yeah. And he's just such a good dude. He got he was named first team All SEC. A uh, long snapper yeah. this past week. Dog. And if anybody deserves it, I mean, he scored more points than all the other ones. Combined. Um, In the past, like, 20 years. Yeah, so he deserved it for sure. And he, But he's just, like, such a nice guy. Yeah, good dude. Um, good, nice young Also lad. really smart. Good dude. Like, you could just tell by the way he, like... Conducted himself. Yeah, and conducted talk. himself and taught. He was just, like, a really smart, good guy. Yeah, I think that's a theme with the people we've had on. Like, they're all really just... They're just like good, good people. people. They're just good people. Like, I haven't had... We haven't had anybody on that, like, I didn't feel like I would hang out with. Yeah, they leave and we're like... <sighs> yeah, I'm just like, Bum. oh. <laughs> yeah, um, like, we... We have hung out with David, you know. Yeah, I've... We I've, used to... I've, last year, we would see Julian a lot. Yeah. I still I, see I saw, Ben sometimes. I see Julian a lot. And, like, I'll say hi to him. Yeah. Like, he's a good guy. Mm-hmm. Um, he's also coming back next I season. I saw Sasha so many times this year. Yeah. I saw her at the Kroger, at the Munchie Mart. In the dining hall. On everywhere. campus where she lives? <laughs> I saw her uh, in her room. I watched her go to <laughs> practice. Oh, you got watched her walk back. Oh, God. <laughs> See my binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> he was hiding behind the dumpster. <laughs> um, From my vantage point, I could see it. <laughs> Willem, um, you want to know what... I don't know why this... This okay. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna tell you what I was thinking, and I'm gonna tell you how it connected. Okay. So you want to hear what my friend's uh, named Sam his his favorite conspiracy theory is? Yeah. His conspiracy theory is Bigfoot is real. He's just really blurry. I've heard that one. Um. But how that connected to what you were saying was you were talking about your vantage point and like watching Sasha, <laughs> and in my mind I went to the the conspiracy theory of. JFK, his head just exploded. It wasn't like a shooter. <laughs> um, and so I was like, ah, from the vantage point, you could like see the motor coach. And then I was like, other conspiracy theories. So, yeah. It's a good train of thought. I appreciate that. It's a great train Thanks. of thought. It's, it's a very show them the door train of thought if there is one. Mm-hmm. Um, but you haven't given us your favorite part. Well, I, I feel like I can't say Sasha because that's what you said. Yeah. Um, I can change my answer if you'd prefer no, to Sasha. No, don't, don't do me any favors, Chris. You have yeah, to you, pity me. He needs my hand you out. You, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I'm going to say the, the Drew episode. The Drew episode. That was my number two. It, it was so much fun. Like Drew just seems like a normal guy that like, you'd hang out with. Kind of is the thing. The thing like, is, he's a little taller than us. Is like he's we, white. Like <laughs> we talk to all these terrible. like scholarship athletes, and then Drew, like obviously Drew, Drew was, was a scholarship athlete, mm-hmm. and he's phenomenal like, at the game of basketball. But like he's just he's just a nice like, regular. dude. It was like you were talking to like this a guy. like a random guy who also happened to be on the team. It was so much fun. Um, 
Like we see like um And he was really good. Ben and Julian in them and I'm like, holy moly, they I are can't even understand. <laughs> You're like, and no then wonder. I'm sitting here I'm on the couch not, next to like ship. next to next to Drew Weckert and I'm like You're like, oh they could have copy and pasted dream, us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm equally as good at basketball as this dude. Well I just meant like in terms of like if Bill. he was on our IM team last year, how many more games do you think we would have won? We would have won all of them. I think we would. Man was a D1 athlete. He was an SEC he, athlete. Yeah. Like, He's you're, a dog, you're like, dude. oh. Do you think he, he could have carried us two, though? Yes, easily. Really? There wouldn't have been a possession we didn't score. Fair enough. And we could, we could get a couple lucky. I think that, that we would just. I think that we would just be able to sit back, play defense, throw it to Drew, and then it'd be fine. True. You're cooks. <laughs> Let, let, my, let my man cook. <laughs> Feed your... <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> like, you know, we like to say that, like, we're, we actually don't ever say we're good at basketball. But, like, you know, those people in the IM League probably are like, yeah, I'm pretty solid. But, like, that doesn't... They're capping. That it, Some of them solid are pretty good. Is, re- is related to... It's relative. Yeah, it's relative to, like, like, the time. bums like us that they play, as opposed to, like... I Drew. mean, Drew was playing against people that legitimately got drafted to the NBA. They made millions. So, I don't know. I think that there was not a chance that he wouldn't have scored every single possession and we would have gone undefeated. Um, True. I don't think Stack would have allowed him to play IM basketball is the issue. I think so. I think Stack would have been like, if you get injured playing IM basketball, <laughs> you're off the team. He wasn't. Um, yeah, he's a really good dude. Yeah, it's phenomenal, actually. And he's in law school? Like, what? Yeah. Man. Scholar. Scholar. Mm. He's living your dream, Chris. Mm. I was going to. To be white and in law school. <laughs> I, like, in the, I think Drew Weikert reminds me more of Stetson Bennett than any other athlete that I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. What an interesting thing to say. Because, like, Stetson, We've trashed Stetson Bennett. Because Stetson Bennett's a mediocre stars, quarterback. Man. Yeah, exactly. He's going to be the best car dealership owner in the entire Athens area. I think, for I think Drew is too humble and just, like, average everyday guy in, his, in how he, like, conducts himself. You know what I mean? To yeah. be a car salesman. Oh, I think like I, some I, people I think like swagger Drew. themselves around and stuff, and it's like I, I wow, don't, it's dope. Drew, like mm, you're right. I feel comfortable around Drew. You know, you're right. I don't think that they have the personality. I think they have the same story, though. Well, I mean, I guess that might be me stereotyping walk-ons. White walk-on. Yeah. The walk-on. The white walk-on. The law. The war. <laughs> um, I took the walk. To the Heisman Trophy ceremony, <laughs> apparently. Setson Bennett doesn't deserve to be a Heisman Trophy finalist. That's all I got to say. Was he SEC second team? I don't think so. There's no way you can vote him over Bryce Young, Hennon Hooker. I think K.J. Jefferson's a better quarterback than him. I think... Um, I would probably put him at four in the SEC. Spencer Radler had a better end of the season than Setson Bennett had. Even if I hate Spencer Rattler, I don't think he's a good quarterback. Yeah, I shudder at the, at the mere name of Spencer Rattler. Um, I think Anthony Richardson has a much more has a lot greater of a potential. Yes, yeah. He doesn't. He's not a better quarterback by any means. Oh no. Do you think Will Levis is better than Setson Bennett? No. I think it's the same thing. Potential. Will Levis has potential. I don't think Will Levis has that high of a ceiling. <laughs> potential. I mean, granted, Setson Bennett has reached his peak. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> They're easy right at it. Uh, maybe Will Rogers I'd take over Stetson. I think that you could plug any of those quarterbacks into the Georgia system, though, and they'd be they'd still be 12 Yeah, now. take take any SEC quarterback. The, You're winning the championship. Yeah. Like, I mean... When you surround yeah. them with, like... When you have the, the best talent. the best offensive line, the two best tight ends, really great wide receivers, the best defense... Like, yeah, you're probably going to go 12-0, and make it to the championship, and then you're going to beat up on a bum Ohio State team um, who got trashed by Michigan at home and made it to the playoff. Crazy. If they lose by more than 14, I'm going to say that Tennessee should have made the playoff. <laughs> you see uh, the TikTok that Ohio State posted? Um, like the athletics account posted. Was it the... And it's them on the ground. It's, and it's they, Emperor yeah. Palpatine. Oh, no. no. They also posted the one... Song. And it was Emperor Palpatine okay. after losing to Michigan, and it's like, I'm too weak. And then, like, they make it into the playoff, and it's like, unlimited power. <laughs> um, I don't think that they should have made the playoff. I think, I mean, let me rephrase. They should have, based on record, 
I think that they are not one of the four best teams in the college football landscape. Yeah, I'd say so as well. I don't understand how Alabama was ranked number five over Tennessee either. But head head one. I mean, we all saw what happened when they played. Um, so I don't it's know. almost as if if the fifth best team has lost to the sixth best team, that makes them not the fifth best. Team. best. Yes. <laughs> also, in terms of bestness. Okay, I'm a, I'm I'm a little bit gonna rant about Tennessee real quick. Okay, go for it. Josh Heupel was not named to a Coach of the Year watch list. He wasn't even a finalist. Really? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. How well did Tennessee do two years ago? Two years ago, we were like 2-10. and ten, Or like 2-8. and eight. And what's changed since then? Josh Heupel. <laughs> Maybe you got some nice guys. Like, you got the we transfers. Did it. We did The thing is, is... You got Hendon. Yeah, like, they... Okay, let me... But we, the we got, biggest thing... We got them because of him. Yeah. Josh, I mean, Hendon was not, like, a prime time guy no he left virginia portal. tech because he was not playing yeah. virginia tech <laughs> like <laughs> what he also he's a hokey yeah it's the lamest name and he was a, he was sports. a backup quarterback hokey yeah. <laughs> not only a he's hokey he's a bench hokey <laughs> he's, he's a hokey riding the bench hokey on a bench um you know like that sounds like a tv show hokey on the bench does sound like a tv show like i'm gonna write that like down a, <laughs> a bad 2000s band um <laughs> like I, I i just i don't also, like our defense has no star talent on it regarding Tennessee's defense, not Vandy's. Um, and like they, he brought a team that was what like he they won almost no games two years ago, mm-hmm. and then made them like relevant yeah, in the college football landscape. True. We were unranked before the season started. We were at we were a number one team for all of two days. Yeah, if you can take an um, unranked team to be the number one team. That is a coaching thing, I think. <laughs> that is a, it's a coaching. Like, yeah. like, are you going to sit here and tell me that Tennessee football has a bunch of five-star guys on it? Because they don't. I can name the entire roster, and I can tell you who All of the... them. You don't okay. know who number 58 is. Yes, I do. That's Darnell Wright. 53 is. Oh, okay, I don't know. But that's, it, was uh, somebody, hey. it was somebody. Hey. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, when I, I asked I, what his I favorite name, pasta was, he was I, like, uh, long. And I'm like, oh, all right, man. What do you mean by that? <laughs> um... <laughs> um, he, he was like fettuccine a, or like I thought that was McGrath oh no he said chicken alfredo no McGritty said chicken alfredo McGritty 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 <laughs> um, let me refer I could name the starters is what I meant to say mm-hmm. who's um, number zero white dude on the sideline I was dogging play? him out no oh then I don't know <laughs> he was just standing there I'm like dude are you ever going to touch the field and I know he heard me I know he heard <laughs> man me. was just he's seething. I'm like, brother. He's like, what do you think I want? Brother, to you're standing on this sideline the whole time. Are you gonna get any PT? Like, dude. It's like you're, you're up, you're up 50 56 points, and you're not in the game. And you're not in the game, dude. You have your third Why string you quarterback, there? the walk-on transfer from UCF. You live in Knoxville, Tennessee, to not play it for <laughs> University of Tennessee because yeah. you do not play, dude. If you're up 56 and you're not in the game, you're either time great. to enter the portal. Yeah, you're either <laughs> great because yeah. they've taken you out. Oh, and you haven't played in the game is what I mean. Or, yeah. <laughs> like, it's time. The portal is open. It's the, looking, the, the, yeah. the window is there. Mm, I've seen the Dr. Pepper commercials. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about consumerism? Consumerism? Um, it's a weird question. Uh, it's. I mean, it definitely drives our business. At, like, and, like, well, yeah, it drives our business. It is business. What, what are, you, are you asking? It's like the uh, business thing. What like part of it are you asking about? Like, are you a fan of it? I like, mean, some people think consumerism is like the issue with the world. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Uh, maybe. I mean, I can see how it can be dangerous. Yeah. I can see how it can cause people to make poor decisions with their money. Do you think it preys on people though? I think it could, yeah. I think that I've 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 heard the song "Wings" by Macklemore. Um, I I can definitely see how some people will get obsessed with certain items and will make unhealthy life decisions and monetary decisions based on those items, um, which will in disproportionately affect people of low socioeconomic status. Thank you. So, how informative. Yeah. I appreciate that. It's an informed decision on Christopher Yeah, Conway. we do not endorse <laughs> consumerism here. <laughs> it's it's like, just your it's like classic. A, a graphic, <laughs> like, plus up, it's like informed decision. Lasers, <laughs> yeah. lightning. Yeah. 
Gotta edit that in. No, I'm not gonna do Thank that. You. Do you have any other consumerism related? I I didn't bring up consumerism. You yes, didn't. but do you have any follow up questions? No. <laughs> okay, we'll keep going then. Um, you really threw me for a loop with it. You were on your Tennessee arc. Oh, so so Hendon's not a Heisman candidate. How? He's the offensive player of the year. Yeah, he's SEC offensive player of the year, first team All SEC quarterback. But there's an SEC quarterback over him in the Heisman voting. It's like when it's almost as if <laughs> it's like when Mark Gasol won the defensive player of the year despite being second team All NBA defense. Yeah. Like it can't happen. It, logistically, it's just like it the one happen. one of them is not true. Um, it can happen. And I think anybody who says that Stetson Bennett is a better quarterback than Hendon Hooker is wrong. Yeah. And, like, and also, okay, so there's that, right? And then Coach Heupel not being even in the conversation for Coach of the Year for no apparent reason. And then ESPN and everybody is pushing that Jalen Hyatt won't win the Bolitnikoff, which is the best wide receiver in the nation. The what? The Bolitnikoff Award. That's a dope name. I yeah. kind of want it. So I think I don't remember. I think his first name was like Don or something. Of course it was Don, Don. B- 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 <laughs> I bet he played for the the uh, the the Miami. I don't know, man. I, I, uh, maybe like I feel like he's like more of like a Northeast guy, like, or like a Midwest. Like I feel like he'd play for like Miami of Ohio, and he'd be like really good. He's like AJ Brown at I'm uh, not AJ Brown, but uh, Antonio Brown at Central Michigan or something. You went to Central? Mi- We've talked about this. Yeah. Um. But, any, like, the Blitnikoff is the best. It, it is defined as the, quote, most outstanding receiver in college football this season. Um, and it is between the two real contenders are Jalen Hyatt and Marvin Harrison Jr. from Ohio State. The, the only issue is, is Jalen Hyatt has more yards and more touchdowns on less catches against better competition. Okay. <laughs> so... Marvin Harrison is a better wide receiver than Jalen Hyatt. How? So Jalen Hyatt is really fast, um, and he's in a really, really well-schemed offense. True. Marvin Harrison is a more NFL. Like, I think Jalen Hyatt will be like a better John Ross in the NFL. I love John Ross. Yeah. But like he's like a really fast guy that is going to do really well with like – you know, stretching defenses and doing routes like that, but he's not going to be some wide receiver one stud, right? And Marvin Harrison will be. Marvin Harrison has a developed route tree, has an amazing catch radius, catches everything that comes at him. He's going to be in that line of stud Ohio State work. wide receivers. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that he'll be amazing. But the Bolitnikoff is not based on the best wide receiver in the league. In college football. It is based on the most outstanding player, which I believe is based on a season as opposed to talent. Like, for instance, Jamar Chase didn't play during the COVID year. He decided to sit out during the pandemic. He was still the best wide receiver in college football when he decided to sit out. And that was evidenced by by uh, the Bengals taking him with the number, like, five overall pick. Four. I think it was the number four overall pick. After sitting out a year. Um, but he didn't win the Blitnikoff because it doesn't matter who's the best. Didn't he go to LSU? Yeah. Ah. He, uh, played 2019, won the championship with Joe Burrow, sat out 2020, went, uh, and went in that draft. Oh. So we saw, we didn't see him play, but we saw his team play. Yes. That team. Justin we, Jefferson. Yes. We saw, that was the first we saw college Jay football game I ever Burrow. been, I've ever been to. Well, I guess then he didn't. Anyways, anyway, I, I, I don't think that's a great example. I think it's a great example. Thing. Because but, like, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. To a completely different point. If you can get um, a guy who has less talent to perform better than everyone else, that's a coaching thing. Like the, I think that's definitively the most... Like, the biggest thing that a coach can do mm-hmm. is take less talent and make them do more. Yeah. So that the fact that Jalen Hyatt should win that award above a guy that's more talented than him yeah. shows that he's well coached. Yeah, and I agree. The, the awards are coming out, like, as we speak, really? which is why I was looking at my phone. Mm-hmm. Um, so, obviously, 
I don't know if it's Bijan or Bihan, but Bijan Robinson, who is the Texas running Bijan back. Bijan McMustard? It's B. Uh, he was named college football stop running back. He won the Doak Walker Award. Um, but Max Duggan won the O'Brien Award for best quarterback in Max the Max Duggan? Mm-hmm. TCU's quarterback for best quarterback. Max Duggan's great. <laughs> But when you're playing North Montana State and Kansas, like, I expect you to do well. They actually played Kansas, and they almost lost. Kansas is a good team this year. Kansas is not a good team this year. They're so much better than they usually are. Okay, that is fair. Kansas is like Vandy. Kansas is like... Mm, they're the, much better than Vandy. Back in the past. For the past, like, five years? Oh, yeah. For the past, like, <sighs> years, they've been so terrible. But you're going to tell me that... They, I mean, okay, he he went twelve and one in the Big Twelve, and he, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh, wow. oh man, oh man, <laughs> not again. <laughs> um, that's back to back. Um, back to back. Oh, that's so upsetting. Yeah. Hendon Hooker is getting he's gonna get no awards for a you. season where he was like the most efficient quarterback Excuse in the you. entire league. Um, against How many ACLs does he have, though? He has only one at the present moment. <laughs> Second one's rehabbing. Um, man. What's that in the corner? I, I don't know. It looks like... You're like, I want to take it home. Yeah, I do. Right. It looks like wrapping yeah. paper, but like... kind of does. Are we ever going to talk about Vandy? Um, do you, I checked my list of uh, like things I want to do. Yeah. Um, and it was... One of them was the... Do a podcast episode yes. where we talk about non-sports for 22 minutes. We already did that. No, we didn't. We No, I set that goal oh, at 22 minutes, which okay. is our like, quickest episode. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, do you have anything else to say? Um, I don't. I, I was going to say, is this show them the ball? Th- no. But I, I'm if, sorry when, to the viewers out there. When the Blitnikoff comes out, stuff. if it's not Jalen Hyatt, I will go on a, a, another rant. Let's finish before <laughs> bullet bullet Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> Mr. Cough. Mr. Cough, can I call you Bullet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, Vanderbilt, the team that we all know and love, True. Chris evidently is on a different side. But we, me, I'm on your side, guys, against Chris. He's okay? from the north. He's from like the Pacific Northwest. He doesn't the, care about sports. That's just not true. It's okay. What do you... I mean, I get it. What about the PNW? Makes you say that they It just doesn't have as much of a rich history and, like, things like SEC sports does. Okay. You think so? I think they dig it up there, but maybe you've never been to Pullman. Um, Which is a terrible place, by the way. Pullman, dude. I can name probably... If you're from Pullman, you're... Sorry. What, what is Pullman? Is that Washington State? It's WSU. I think I could name seven minimum SEC school towns that are better than Pullman, Washington. I don't know, man. In terms of passion for their school. I don't know. Pullman is WSU. Knoxville. No. Yes. They're passionate, but it's not literally everything that they have. You, you have not spent enough time in Knoxville, my man. You went to that Ole Miss game. You cannot yeah, tell cool. me. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me that that place is not entirely Tennessee. Six more. Come on. Okay. Tuscaloosa. Baton Rouge. Um, Gainesville. Um, College Station. I'm trying to think of more teams. Um... I would argue Fayetteville for Arkansas. They're like crazy about Arkansas there. Um, Teams I'm ruling out, as much as I love Nashville, it's not Mandy Sports as oriented. Um, Definitely not Missouri. Um, I think South Carolina's close, but probably not as much as Pullman. Um, I have nine of the 14 teams. Who am I missing? Oh, Auburn. Duh. I think I think those seven teams, each of the respective cities are almost guaranteed more passionate about their fan about their teams than Pullman is about Washington State. Nice. I visited a lot of those actually. I've been to Tus- I've been I toured Alabama I toured Alabama 
and uh, Auburn. How big is their rock wall? It's like 102 feet at Alabama, and they know that because Auburn's is like 101 feet. <laughs> so like they they like it was like a competition type thing. It was really stupid. Got to feel better about themselves. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, sure. I don't really like football, and I'm not as passionate as you. Congrats. You know what I mean? I don't know. Does but not... he does go to the basketball games I, when mm-hmm. I was doing work. Yeah, huh? Yeah, I sacrificed my career. I put it on the line, man. You, you know how much stuff that. I have to do? I have to, like, apply for jobs. Okay. That's my one bit of free time. Um, so I went to the game. <clears throat> Who did we play, Walden? We... <laughs> Pitt. We played Pitt. Pitt. First of all... Where are they from? Pittsburgh should <laughs> not be in Pennsylvania. <laughs> like, that does not fit... Whatsoever, Where dude. else do you want them to be? New Jersey, man. No. No, dude. Pittsburgh belongs in New Jersey. I've never been to Pittsburgh, but I can't imagine saying any other state after Pittsburgh except Pennsylvania. When I think of Italians in America, okay. it goes New Jersey, New York, and then Pittsburgh. They all are the same thing. Okay. So Pittsburgh's got to be up there with them. It but can't be in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's close to both New Jersey and yeah, New York. Yeah, but it's so... What, Quaker? You eat oatmeal and then call yourself Italian? I have family from Pittsburgh. It's yeah. terrible. Okay. Um, I'll give it to you. That'd be ashamed. Sure. Moving Pittsburgh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> While we pick it up and <laughs> move it somewhere else. Um, That's a great idea. Um, so I got to call the city. Sorry, guys. So, Pittsburgh. We played Pitt. Pitt. Pretty solid team. I believe they're six and, they were 6-3. and three. Yes. They were. Uh, <laughs> but, um... <laughs> The, the, <laughs> the, um, <laughs> so, I hope you guys like enjoy what we do because this is what makes it fun. Yeah. Even if you don't, I, I kind of don't care. The thing is, is this one won't get promoted on Barstool, so we're gonna get like infinitely less views. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I'm gonna make this point really quickly. Some people tell us, Willem, make your episode shorter. Everyone tells me this, and you know what I say to them every time, Chris? What? I say, I don't really care. It's the thing. They're like, it's more manageable. You know, bite-sized pieces just make it 20, 30 minutes. No. They're like, you know how we do this for? No. I don't do this so that you guys can get your manageable bite-sized bits of me. If you weren't always on that dang phone, you're, these kids, they don't have the attention spans they used to. Uh-huh. And if you would raise your child the right way so that they had the attention span. They would like show them the door. To watch our <laughs> podcasts. Maybe that's a skill issue, simply. It's a skill issue, it's definitely. It's a skill issue. On parenting. Yeah, but um, so here's, I'm going to rant and, uh, about anything. Not right now. Just, oh. like, and just in general. And I don't really care. If you yeah. guys enjoy it, that's awesome. I do this for me. And you got to prioritize yourself. I do this you for prioritize well, yourself. I do this for us. Like I, like, I really enjoy it. And, like, people are like, you got to segment it more. You got to no. make it more. I do this because it's, like, one of the only times of the week where, like, unless there's a guest, then it makes it a little different. Where Chris and I just, just say stuff. I don't agree with that even remotely. That's true. We, do we this every say stuff day. Every, every single, single day. Every single day. This is just but a this little. This is where it's publicized. This is where it's like a zoom in on our every single night, yeah, except so with know. a little bit more sports. When we first hit record on this, we just sat here and argued about like John Wall for yeah. like 15 minutes before we like started doing this. Yeah. So like what we do in these episodes is what we do every single day of our lives. Yeah, it's, people it's, can attest to that. People are like, they have different personalities on TV. This is us. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> like it see, or not boys. <laughs> this is what you see is what you get. Like, mm-hmm. I put this on my LinkedIn. You did? Yes. That's I hilarious. linked this. This is, I have a link. It's the one link. Link to our lot? It's linked to my LinkedIn. <laughs> the link link? <laughs> the <Little> LinkedIn? <laughs> um, so. Uh, we played Pitt, pretty solid team. Yeah. Um, they don't have like any like standout people, so I mean, it's just a regular team. They're but then again, mid. like we don't either. We're just a solid team. Yeah. Um, Jordan Wright didn't start, which I <gasps> found interesting. Who started? Our starters, starters were Ezra Magnon. Manjon? Nope. Is they it really? pronounced it Magnon. Is it Magnon? They said that, and oh, I'm that's like, oh, huh? Magnon. Okay. So Ezra. Ezra. Tyran. Cool. Miles, okay. Quentin, uh-huh. and Liam. I'm okay with that. I don't want Tyron Lawrence starting over. Yeah. He's a solid player, but I don't think he's better than Jordan Wright. They play different positions, though. I want Miles can be a two. I don't think Miles can be a two. Miles was a two last year. No, he wasn't. He was a four. What? He played the four last year. Who played the two last year? Other than Rod. It was Rod and Trey Thomas. 
<laughs> he played again last night. I, I the saw first him. time in a while. I'm glad he is like healthy. I don't think he wins. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's uh, he's small. I was like, um, I I don't mean to like diss the guys, but last night I was at the game and I'm like, oh, there's Trey Thomas. He's five foot two. And Brooke was like, oh, he's five two. Okay, I, I wanted to know like what I would look like next to Liam. So next when he goes up to him, I'll see. And I'm like, he's not actually five two. I was exaggerating. She's like, ah, bummer. And I'm like, mm. how a bummer. You can't be 5'2 and play basketball. Trey Thomas is good. He shoots the, the ball really well. He's it's Trey just difficult Thomas. to be five foot eight. you know what I mean? Yeah, when you're like five. When you're my size? When you're five foot and a half with shoes on, <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard. You're Muggsy Bogues. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's difficult. It's impressive sure. what he can do, though, yeah, at that size. Genuinely. It's good. And Ezra um, is like roughly his, his, sight, his height. Rather. Ezra's like six feet tall. Really? Yeah. Calm down now. He looks smaller. He's six feet tall. So here's the thing. It started off... <laughs> You're going to slide over. <laughs> You're like, oh, let's count shoulders real quick. <laughs> um, um, it started off. It started off, as most games do. They begin. Um, it was going pretty well. It was like fairly even. You know, numbers are climbing. We're scoring. They're scoring. Um... We're making our shots. They're making their shots. They go on a low run. We go on a low run. It's perfect basketball. Like, it's a really good game to watch. Mm -hmm. um, and we go up a little bit. They go up a little bit. It's just how it is. Yeah. They went on a run uh, mid to late second first half. Hold I on. The, I saw this Hold on. Um, and then we came back and tied it to half. Um, do you have a thing to say? I do. Okay. So, in this run, I watched very limited of this game, but I did watch some. He doesn't care. I, don't, I do care. You. Um, but... So what happened was, is we looked like the worst team in the nation for, like, four possessions. It was like we just, like, we would put up really dumb shots and, like, Jordan Wright, like, airballed a three. Um, and then they would come down and we just wouldn't defend. And so I was like, wow, we're about to get blown out. And we were down, like, 22-17. And then I don't know what happened, but we turned into the best team in the nation for the next five possessions. And we stole the ball on, like, five straight possessions and got layups. Yeah. And it was ridiculous. It was, I was looking at it, and I was. It, it felt a lot like the Mizzou game at the end of last year. Do you remember when we went to the Missouri game, and they just we were up like four, but then we decided to turn into the best team in the entire yeah, world. Fell apart, and then we went up by like fifteen because we stole the ball like five times. Yeah. it was like that, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, we're great!" And then we were up like five or six. It was a ten point swing in like maybe forty five seconds. It was crazy. It was great, and then they tied it. It was tied at the half. Yeah. Second half, we come back out. They're doing pretty well. They made, like, none of their, like, halftime shots that they put up. Mm -hmm. I was like... <laughs> Wait, we did or they did? Them. They, okay. they missed so many. I'm like, Let's be good. we're going to kill them. Um, took them a while. So, second half was pretty solid. It was more back and forth again. We took a big lead, seven points to be exact. We blew it. And it was back and forth until the end a little bit. And then we're winning. They have 31 seconds on the clock. We're up one point. So I'm like, what's going on now? A little nervous. A little, yeah, he nervous. He's nervous. Nervous. I was nervous. Legitimate. I was. Um, so, sorry. Um, they come down with 31 seconds mm -hmm. on the clock. And they're doing their thing. I'm like, they're going to take the last shot. They call a timeout. They go for it. They're waiting. They're out there. Dude has the ball at the top of the key. 30 seconds left. They're just taking down the clock because it's what you do when you play basketball. Yeah. And he pulls up and shoots with like 17 seconds left. Was it like a mid-range? Yeah. And he makes the shot. So they're up one. Hey. But like they left us 17 seconds. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not good basketball. That's bad clock That's management. bad basketball. Yeah. Come on now. And so we get the ball. We take it, 17 seconds, we go down, we call our little timeout. We go down there, and with one second left, Tyron Lawrence underneath the basket gets clobbered, and I'm like, interesting. And then they call the foul, and I'm like, good. Tyron Lawrence is going to the line. I like Game it. on the line. Ice in his veins. Ice in his veins. I, you Sweat all over him. You can't shake Tyron Lawrence. That man has a child. Yeah, he's like, a father. Like, what a man. He has gone through more in his life than sitting at a free throw line. Than you that. have. Mm -hmm. you viewer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, were, we have like 
five of our guest moms following us. So, like, they know childbirth, so, like... Then you guys are better. Than you guys that. are You're better. better than Tyron because you actually did it. <laughs> True, actually. Tyron didn't pump it out. I would I mean? trust my own mother to make shots over Tyron Lawrence based on that theory. I would um, trust Yemma very much. If you're watching yeah. this, I bet you would sink some free throws, Yemma. She, she, is, she always preached free throws whenever I played basketball. She should. It was free, throws, free, throws. And free throws and rebounding was her thing. And That's it, how you win games. Yeah, my mom was a very, like, she, it would be like so. She'd be a good coach. It's so bad that, like, when we watch games, it won't matter the amazing plays people make. If they miss a free throw, she's like, I don't like them. She's like, I bet, you know. She would have loved or, Derek Rivia. <laughs> or or def- different idea. If we're down, like, if I'm watching, like, a Tennessee game with her, and we're down two, and then they pull up the free throw thing, and we're, like, 15 of, like, 18 or something, she'd be like, well, we'd be tied if we just made our free throws. Yeah, and I did every game. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's every it's single game, and yep. it's, it's good. Yeah. Um, but, so I, I had to, I was never great at free throws, but I, I would hear about it for sure. Nice. Anyway. Anyway, Tyron Lawrence made the first free throw, and I'm like, <laughs> like oh, OT. Because, <sighs> like, he's a good scorer. I don't think he's that great of a free throw well, shooter percentage-wise. Right. Um, Is he not? I don't think so. Like, he's not, like, one of the best on our team. Hmm. Um, he's not bad by any means, but I was like, percentage-wise, Miles there? Studi. Oh, that's fair. Miles Studi shoots, like, 86%, I think. Really? He's phenomenal. Man's a shooter. Maybe I'm thinking of Roger Bolton. <laughs> Um, same guy. Not even sort of. Nope. Um, so he made the second one too. And I'm like, we go up. Wow, we're up one. And then they have 1.1 second left and they take it and they don't get a shot off, but they get it concerningly close to the three point line. It was like on the three point line, man. Cause he threw it. He ran the heck out of that baseline. Like he gets it here, runs. And I'm like, he's He's crazy on the baseline. And he launches it. (laughs) And he throws it up three quarters of the darn court. Yeah. They go up for it. Pitt needs a new quarterback. Like, li- Kenny Pickett left. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> yeah. yes. Uh. Call him up because he launched that bad boy. Threw it into heavy traffic. So, like, he's not a good quarterback. And he everyone goes pass. up for it. He completed the pass. I don't know how. Man goes down with it. Doesn't get a shot off. And it's over. That's game. Well, yeah, with 1.1 second. If you're like, dipped if you have to... out of there, grabbed the donut from the AD pie house, and went home. Nice. And that's a dub. Um, that's a, that's, that's, a, a, that's dub. a nice quad one win. It was like legitimately, if I had to take someone to a basketball game, that's how I would want it to go. Yeah. Because like we were cruising and looking so great and then like we were losing a bit. Like it's back and forth. It's got that in it. It's got moments where we're killing it. And then it's got that like bit at the end where you're like <gasps> on the edge of your seat. That is, that is basketball. At its very finest. Yeah. I love that game, dude. It was, a, it was apparently a good game. I had a good game. seat, too. I, I was at the very back of the stadium, the farthest physically possible. Did, were they checking for tickets? Nope. Oh, so you guys got to go. Yeah, and we sat on the side. I didn't mean to, but it was on the short side of the court. So, like, it like, was... Like, in your goal? Yes. It was, like, the best view. Because I saw so much, like, like... I feel like... Basketball. I wouldn't want that view, though. I played enough 2K in my day. To like really understand basketball better when it's at like <laughs> this angle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Makes sense. I, Makes I sense. know how like you're looking down the court and you're like, oh, there's the cut. There's the cut. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Li- I, I can't see it when it's sideways. True. Like legitimately. Um, like I'm looking this way and there's a fast break. Um, Pitt has the ball. They're going down. Dude's right here. Other guy doesn't fill his lane well. You're supposed to either go in like this or just yes. go right there. He was just weird. And here comes. Big dude. What's his name? Oh, shoot. What's his name? Um, Lee Dort. Lee Dort. And Lee Dort fills his lane perfectly. He's going straight there, blocks it off the backboard. And I'm like, I saw that coming because I saw the lanes. Look at this stuff. I felt so good. I was like, I'm seeing good basketball from a perfect angle. And I understand things. Yeah. And I saw Will Perdue, which is cool. If you don't know who Will Perdue is, he won championships with Michael Jordan. And he was in the gym last night wearing a very stylish coat. It was pink. Good, nice good suit for jacket. Him. I loved it. I would wear. It. He's just tall. You think, <laughs> like, you, they, you think you could rock a pink jacket? Yes, I'd, I'd rock, the, rock the packet. I don't. I don't think that. I kill the packet. I don't think white people look good with pink. I think it's a bad color combination with the pink hue of our skin. Interesting. This is a little bit of a weird subject, so we're gonna move on from this. 
Um, so, you know, um, yeah, the 1987-88 team was there. And, like, they... Why? Because they went to the Sweet 16, so they're honoring them. Oh, oh, Vanderbilt. You said Michael Jordan. I thought it was, like, their no. championship team. No, I was like, that makes like, no I, I, sense. I met Michael Jordan last night. Didn't think it was worth mentioning to you. Um, but, uh... They were there, and, like, here's the thing. Any of those guys my dad could introduce me to at the lows, he's like, oh, that's John and Lumber, and I would totally be like, what's up, John? How you doing? You know? Was, I said that to Brooke word for word last night. I'm like, wow. There's These Derek. are just dudes, you know what I mean? Derek like, and the bathroom lighting. <laughs> bathroom lighting is its own section in Lowe's, just so you know, actually. I know. It is under the cosmetic lighting which I think my dad manages because he oh. manages like half the store. He manages the cosmetic lighting section? He has. That's like the third in the pecking order. <laughs> well, actually, hold on. <laughs> it's not, lighting is just lighting. It's plumbing that's cosmetic and mechanical. Okay. It's broken down there. Oh, Just wow. for your Lowe's lore, the lore. It's like when uh, the president dies and you have vice and then you have like all the chairs <laughs> or it's like secretary of state and then all the chairs. Um, so if Lay, the, um, the store manager at I Lowe's. can't remember what number of Lowe's he is. Um, Just dox him right now. I, well, um, <laughs> if Lay at Lowe's in uh, East Nashville, West okay. Nashville, I can't remember. If she perishes. If he, he if he perishes, my dad would take sole control of that store. Oh, so he's, he's, he's the first in the line of succession? Yeah. That's crazy. My dad is the assistant manager. Wow. Like sure they have like four, but like my dad. I didn't realize I didn't realize cosmetic lighting was that high in the, in the pecking order. I don't think he has that. <laughs> I think he does. He has. He's changed it every like different store he goes to. I would assume lumber would be number one. Lumber is, I think, how they do their they get their uh, most money. Yeah. I think my dad has the garden. Does your Does your dad use the saw? My dad does not. Is he, use is the he saw. certified to use the saw and cut for people? I don't think you need certification for that. Is the scary <laughs> thing, and they would not have my father, a manager, be cutting lumber. They'd be like, okay, could, you know, two oh. fingers, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Get two finger chair in here. <laughs> Why does he have two fingers? Well, he lost the other three in the saw. <laughs> Um, it's like you, you see the blades teacher, you know? speeding easily, <laughs> and there's just more of his fingers flying off. It's disgusting. Get but stump yeah. hand Ron yeah. in here. <laughs> he, he, he can press the, the button. <laughs> Arg. Um. Anyways. Yes. So, like, my dad's pretty pretty high up there in the Lowe's game. Yeah. Don't mess with him. He's forklift certified. Oh, wow. Makes him pretty cool. Um, so... Do you know on. how forklift certification works? Nope. So, would you think that it's, like, national or, like, state? Or, like, who regulates this, do you think? I know what it is, so, like, um, give me your answer. I don't think national. Because, well, I, I don't know, actually, because OSHA is a thing where everything needs to be, like, safe and done well. Mm-hmm. Um, I would assume it would be under OSHA, but I, I would also have to imagine that it's probably statewide. Because the only things that, like, nationally can be, like, enforced enforced are things in the Constitution. Commerce. Oh, that too. <laughs> um, it's not so. interstate commerce. <laughs> that's, 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 that's actually. But... If you're certified or licensed, where do you think you can use that license? Like the extent of its spread? Could my dad go to, like, say anywhere? Maybe like contingent in the nation? states, or like, okay, is that your guess? Yeah. Do you think it varies by company, or is it like all inclusive? Like, you see, not to drive a forklift. Are there different types of forklifts? There are two, but it's the same certification for both. Then I would assume, I would assume that like a company would want to test you, even if. Even if, like, you were certified somewhere else. Okay. Is that right? So, it is per company. So, my dad is certified to operate the um, the forklift <laughs> and, like, the uh, vertical forklift. Oh, okay. Um, the, little, the little accordion one? Yes, the oh, one that okay. goes yeah, up yeah, in the aisle. Yeah, yep. Right. My dad is licensed to do that at Lowe's. If he were to be a trader and go to Home Depot, well, the better he would have cap, first of all. He would have to get re-licensed because he is not licensed at Home Depot. I bet it would take like, I bet like he'd have he to get re-licensed, but yeah, but like he'd pass with flying colors. I'm well, sure. my dad knows how to operate the thing. It's a written test and a field test. But I'm saying like, it's like, it's almost like a formality. It's the same test for everybody. It's a formality. Yes. 
because he knows how to do it. It's like um, I would want to do that too if I was a company, just so I could, you know, have like that's like a liability issue. Yeah. Also, um, oh, dude, I I had something to say. Oh, okay, I found it again. So we're talking about cutting things, right? Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen those videos on like Instagram where they're like, this revolutionary new saw that um, doesn't like cut limbs, like if it, if it like 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 if it like comes into contact with something like a finger, it like it will stop. Have you seen those? No, oh, no. I don't know. But what they'll do is they'll put like a hot dog on it, and <laughs> as it like it would go to it, it like stop when it like. Touches the hot dogs. You might get like a cut, but you like, won't like. Yes. Yeah. Um, my thing is, is like, if you really believe your product works, why are you using a hot dog? Don't use a hot dog. Yeah. I, I, if if you Have believe that your product won't cut your fingers, what's a better advertisement than shoving your finger in the saw? And <laughs> you, so uh, when Elon Musk and them like released the Cybertruck thing, when they were talking about it, yeah, they like threw something at the window. Mm-hmm. To prove it was like, you know, like proof. Yeah. Not bulletproof, but like, you know. And it broke. Yeah. They broke it. They broke the window in their demonstration talking about how it can't break. But like, I love the theory. Yes. I think the That's theory what you of need being to do. like, Shove it's indestructible. In there, Shove your hand in there then. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Like, I Why don't you have a blade guard, you fools? I want to see like, instead of like the hot dog, you're just like. Yeah, get your hand in there. Yeah. Cut your hand. Do it. Cut it off. <laughs> Take no, it off. That's how two, two-handed Jerry was for the prototypes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's it's a two-handed, two-handed Jerry. Two, <laughs> um, we didn't have any other Vanderbilt games. There was nothing else. Football ended. Um, BT game was interesting, but we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, we talked about it. Um, basketball, that was the only game that I remember. We played, like, Wofford. But we, yeah, we, we played Wofford. I, I we won. I didn't watch it, though, because I was I also I doing finals. Busy. It's been a busy week, guys. And so this one's going to be more of just like a, you know, chatting. Just us season you know finale. I mean? Yapping. We're excited for season four of Show Them the Door. Season four? Season of Show Them the Door? Um, <laughs> How many seasons have you had? <laughs> what season are you on? Um, that's going to be exciting. We're hopefully going to have a ton of guests like last time. Yeah. Like, it's I weird guess. to think we're not going to do this one day. I'm going to keep doing it from our home. <laughs> we're going to be on the Zoom call. Guys? Um... I never thought we'd see the day again. Yeah, this is the second time this has mm-hmm. happened. But our video cut out. Um, we actually went on for like 30 minutes after that, talking about nothing. And I then like remember. we griped for like 10 minutes about how we were reaching the end of the season, how we didn't want to go. And yet here we are. Pretty sad about it. Yeah, Chris is going to go home and cry. Um, I try. I actually made myself cry on the podcast. I was sobbing. He it tried. Was buckets. He did not um, succeed. Sh- 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 I, I succeeded. You have no failure. proof. No. Um, yeah, the evidence is gone. Yeah, the evidence is gone, actually. Mm-hmm. But it's really sad. Um, I think right before you'll see this clip, I was talking about shoving my finger in a saw, <laughs> which is, you know, as all good episodes end. Yep. But I guess it's time to really end the season. Yeah, for real. Again. So, for the last time of season three, and the last time in 2022, all the way from the Curb Center Studios, this has been Show Them the Door. Bye, guys.